Just in time, we're about to start the final mission of the game. And it doesn't matter if you bring in a whole lot of weapons, because you're gonna lose them all. Now we're never gonna get that package on the bridge, because by the time we get there, the bridge will is just gonna be sky high. Right. One bullet. Oh, okay. Okay, thank you for the follow. Just like, wow, that was a surprisingly calm crowd. It's just like they decided to accept. Uh, oh. They just decided to accept an exploding fate over a drowning fate. Yeah. I mean, I can respect that. So yeah, I already got that unique stunt, but I think it's bringing us closer to where we have to be, so... All in all, it's definitely okay. Alright, might as well go here because that's a much closer save game to the final mission. But, I don't know, I think there was maybe a... Uh... Yeah. Oh yeah, that's right, also this garage is really weird, now that I remember it. He ain't no gentleman that one. The good thing with every garage is that they repair your cars for free, as long as you're not in a mission. If you're the man of no mission, then you can repair your car for free. Yeah, Shoreside Vale uh, kinda sucks, it pretty much is the low point of the game. Oh my god, that's a lot of cart and losers. So don't action dive in front of a maniacal driver. That's not gonna end well. Alright, the exchange. Si, si, bueno. Pa que es idiot? One of these scarf face idiots. Cartel headquarters. The real question is, did you turn up to rescue Maria or to get me back? Well, I got news for you. Shooting you will be a pleasure, but dating you was only business. You are muy pequeñito, amigo. Throw over the cash. You have been a busy boy, but you haven't learned. I'm not to be trusted. Kill the idiot! Alright, and now it's time for bullet time. Uh, ah. I kind of forgot what you had to do in this one mission, so yep, it might take us a couple of attempts. Oh yeah, you have to get uh, yourself a, a good old cartel cruiser. Right, thank you for the follow. Oh no, why did we have to? Uh, why did we have to put uh, a gate that opens up to our own car? Follow the chopper, find Catalina. Uh, oh my God! Uh, oops. Alright, I'm hoping that this one, uh... Alright. 
there we go. At the very least, this car is gonna go fast. Yep. Just saw the chopper at the corner of our eye. It's in the it's in the dam. Well, to be fair, in that one game, they didn't really have the chopper physics up to uh, up to snuff yet. So, yep. This is why we get a choppy chopper. <laughs> set piece of the game. We have to go over to the deadly dam and almost drive off. Oh, alright, and now we have the guns that mean big business. Thankfully, the AI has never really been all about being hardcore snipers. Just gotta take it slow and cautious. Now suddenly it's doom. We have to shoot down barrels. Yeah, that gun is just so powerful. It's just like... As long as you take your time, nothing is ever gonna withstand your rat. Yep. Get this thing airborne! Uh, oh my god. I kind of forgot, however, that this is a thing. Oh, a flamethrower. There's no problem to kill you. Oh boy, alright. You want the chainsaw gringo? You big dumb Yankee boy. Okay, is everybody dead? Okay, I think everybody is dead, so alright, it's time for the final act! Oh wait, can I just use the... Oops, <laughs> there goes the... there goes the rotors! <laughs> with the emotional aftermath of a full-blown war that hit the area yesterday. Local resident Clive Denver described to police a single gunman that he saw fleeing the scene with a dark-haired woman. Oh, you know, we're gonna have such fun, because, you, know, you know, I love you. I, I really do, because you're such a big, strong man, and that's just what I need. Anyway, what was I saying? Oh, I, you know, I forget, but you know what it's like, don't you? The sound of explosions shook nearby homes as people ran for cover. Several citizens were injured in the panic as gunfire was exchanged between ground forces and a helicopter circling the dam. Yeah, we got a good view from down here in the gardens. When the copter finally got taken out, better than the fireworks on the 4th of July. With the death toll already over 20, police are still finding bodies. There have been no official denials concerning rumors that the dead were members of the Colombian cartel and still no leads as to the cause of the massacre. I mean, 
Can you believe it? This one cost me fifty dollars. Oh. Uh, you know, that's not really how you handle uh, any kind of uh, domestic issues or however you want to call that. I really have no clue. Okay, that's kind of a sinister way to end the game. Yep. yep, nobody left standing. Last man alive. And it's me, Claude Speed. Holy shit, the, that one track of the game has just been mixed up to be overly loud, holy shit. Yeah, I guess it fits a silent, murderous criminal. I mean, we're no angel. But yeah, to me this feels like the last of the GTA game that feels like traditional in a certain way. It kind of picks up in a pretty fateful way, I gotta say, after the first two games of the series, where you kind of just was, uh, like, well, not really sure how to say that, but it's just like, well, you know, you were a silent protagonist and everything, and you know, this character in the game is exactly that. Starting with uh, GTA Vice City, things definitely have taken a much different... Uh, course of approach they just decided now all right we're just going to have you play a certain character that you're going to help guide along we're gonna give him narrative in order to help you care about him and everything so yeah therefore we got characters like Tommy Versetti CJ and all of the other characters in the other GTA games yeah like it's the last game that's not explicitly trying to tell a story i mean there is a story to the game but it's very very faint i gotta say most of the game is just like pretty much a personal revenge or way in order to even the scores after being betrayed by uh, by the person that you were working with and everything but apart from that, there was absolutely no plot. It was just about you taking on the criminal underworld, becoming bigger and bigger, making new friends and enemies with every passing moment. Yeah, GTA taking itself seriously seemed like it was a big problem like in the other games of the series. It's just like, I don't know what. Just the beginning of uh, GTA 5, it just felt like it was trying really, really hard to tell a story. But the thing is, I, I really don't care about it. I just want to do my thing and everything. But it's just like, all right, we're going to do this and this and this and this and this. Oh, Les Mao has Kenji. If we Google that name, I'm pretty sure it's not gonna come uh, across uh, as the name of somebody who lives in Asia. Yeah, just like, just seem like, from the little that I've seen, everybody in the, the GTA 5 universe seemed like they were an absolutely horrible human being. GTA 4, the first one to not have a criminal as a main character, but it's just like you kept having to make to make him do like criminal acts so in, in some way just like the character didn't seem like it even mattered in the way that it was involved in his violence and everything because you you kept having to make him do violent things nonetheless or just like Keeps doing all of these criminal actions and somehow he never really get used to it. But yeah, just like uh, from the little that I've seen of the game, Trevor seemed like a non-likable asshole, and I really didn't want to have any, any to have anything to do with him. Just like. Hey, you start off in the beginning of the game doing a bank robbery and the only words that you know how to say are fuck, fuck, fuck and fuck. Yep. 
I will forever remember you, Spiral in Bridge. Oh yeah. Yeah, that was the thing that made me give up on GTA 4. Just like, I'm sorry cousin, I don't care. I don't want to have to spend my evenings playing bowling with you, I just want to play the game. Oh, yay, the game is over. That's all she wrote, and it's time to go into her house in order to stay there forever, I guess. Yeah, I don't know. That seems like a very somber way to end this. We're just going to go in our house and then never leave.